Hi everyone. Um, in this video, I would like to tackle the following issue, which is how you can integrate Matomo data or PWIC data within uh, data visualization software such as uh, Tableau, Microsoft BI, or either Google Data Studio. So actually, if you look for this information on uh, search engines, you will see that uh, you have actually this the following article explaining how you can connect uh, Tableau to PWIC. And uh, it's basically mentioning the possibility of uh, connecting it to the MySQL database. Um, in my case, I'm not going to use this uh, technique and uh, I will really use a, a basic technique more for uh, marketing people. Uh, it's not a perfect technique. It's just explaining a little bit how Matomo will work uh, for such an integration and what are the current drawbacks at the time at uh, which I made this uh, this video. So the idea is, uh, so I'm going to use actually Microsoft uh, Power BI instead of Tableau software, but I guess in Tableau uh, you have the equivalent. The reason is that actually um, I wish I could install uh, Tableau on my uh, Linux environment, but actually on a virtual machine it's a bit slow because I don't have a, like a super computer. So I'm just gonna uh, show it on Power BI because uh, I rather prefer the data to go to Microsoft rather than, uh, than Google. Okay, uh, so yes, uh, what you need is actually uh, to have some data. So actually you just need to click here on uh, get the data and here you have the list of the different uh, source of data that you can grab. Uh, actually, and this is the main drawback that we have at the moment if you work with uh, the Matomo API, is that we don't have yet any connector, right? Uh, there's no connector yet at the time of this video in order to easily uh, access to the server where your Matomo is hosted in order to grab the data out. So uh, we're just going to use the static and the easy way of doing it, which is through a file. So uh, basically, if you want to play with some data, just go uh, within uh, the report that you are interested in. So in our case here, we are interested in uh, the following report. Uh, just click here on export. And in my case, I'm just going to uh, grab a CSV file, which is up here. And I'm going to ask actually all the data. I could use actually uh, any user limits, but in my case, I'm just going to pick up the CSV one. If I wish to create a connector, I guess I will need actually the following information, right? I will need here uh, the full uh, location of the data with the method that I'm calling and the token. But in my case, uh, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use the, the static one and I'm just going to then uh, register the file. Okay, so um, once you have it, I'm going to just open it up. You will see that you have all your data which are here. So all you need is um, to clean them if uh, some of them are not, uh, let's say, properly uh, properly made. So I can see here that I have some uh, empty fields, so that's not good. Um, but uh, yeah, so as far as I can see here, it should be, it should be OK, uh, except for the missing. Uh, information, so whatever. Um, so I'm going to just now um, save it because I didn't, and I'm just going to save it up here. Up, so that's it. Save. Okay, great. So I'm going to, yeah, I think I'm going to use the CSV file anyway. Uh, so I have it, and then in Power BI, so I'm just selecting here file. I'm just clicking here and say that's a local file, and I'm just going to take this one. Okay, so it's going to uh, work out of it and it's going to tell me, so it's working and it says, oh, that's ready. So you can now uh, display it and then uh, you need to do as usual. So basically just pick up the metrics you are interested in. Uh, so in my case, it's going to be outlinks and it's going to be, I don't know, like downloads as well. And it's going to be about bounces. Yes, it's going to be downloads. Uh, I wish I could get the visit as well, and let's make it gorgeous. Oops, tap, so do something like this. Um, I wish I could get maybe less data now, so I'm just gonna, yeah, just click here, and can I get something sexier? 
Yes. Um, I could pick up the date as well. Okay, and then now it's a little bit better. So if now, for example, uh, you would like to make it uh, more, let's say, more visual, of course, you can uh, change some data here, like uh, the fonts, the size. Um, how could I change that? Sorry, the title, text, the titre. Let's say, like, my gorgeous report. Okay, and um, I'm going to center it. Make it bigger. Yes, gorgeous report. And then uh, you can add, of course, some some text up here in order to I guess. It should be here. Let's say as you can see, this is a gorgeous report. Okay. Okay, and uh, like this, so you can go and grab any data that you want from Matomo in order to import them within uh, any data visualization software. So of course, here, as you can imagine, the main frustration is that the feed is static. So it means that every time that you need to make a new dashboard, you need to go through the interface and download the file and then import it back. Um, so right now, actually, the Matomo community is actively looking for people in order to create the connector, in order to dyna dynamically actually uh, get the data feed and import them uh, within uh, BI software such as Microsoft or BI such as Tableau and so on and so forth. But if uh, what you need to know right now is if you wish actually to get out of, uh, let's say, the UI of Matomo Analytics in order to uh, make the data look different and uh, change actually and add some text in order to comment, um, I don't know, any increase or decrease of traffic and so on and so forth. You can you can do it with the method that I show. It's just that yeah, it's a bit boring to go and grab the data feed and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, in the near future, actually, we will have, I hope, uh, those data connectors in order to uh, straight uh, grab those URL take the information dynamically, and every time that you will refresh the report, you will get the fresh data for the given day without uh, going and go up and grab uh, the file. That's definitely at least uh, something you could be interested in. And yeah, um, I tried as well to make like a method uh, on Google Spreadsheet because they have uh, like a, a function which is interesting, which is uh, the Whoops, do it here. Whoops, yeah, small problem. So if I refresh here. Okay, so in Google Spreadsheets, they have like a, a feature you may be interested in, but as I previously said, I'm not a huge fan of sending my Matomo data to, to Google. But uh, the other feature that you don't have on uh, Microsoft Excel, which is the insert, um, is the import data. And you can actually, if you do like a import data and you mention your data feed here, your URL, it will really straight um, import all the data. So here it's kind of interesting. So here it's an XML, so it's not very gorgeous. But if you pick up actually the CSV one and if you do the same thing, import data, blah, blah, blah. You will see that they will actually uh, create uh, the report as you want it. Okay. Uh, the main issue uh, that I did not succeed so far is actually how you can uh, dynamically just grab actually this specific file from uh, Microsoft BI or anything like this in order to uh, auto refresh it. So yeah, I know that this video is far from being perfect, but uh, I hope that actually uh, it will help people to understand that you can definitely import some data within um, data visualization software uh, through Matomo Analytics. Thanks for watching.